the value our consultation session offers you before you begin your relocation abroad journey apart from giving you access to ask me questions that confuses you that you are in doubt and worries about canada i will discuss with you your age if your age is acceptable or not your class of degree if the grade you graduated with is acceptable in schools in canada and which school in particular will accept you if your YEG, NACO, NAPTEB, or GCE will be accepted, your type of degree, if it is applicable and accepted in Canada, if, you, if what you wish studying in Canada is relevant to what you studied previously for your degree or any previous education, if you have the relevant work experience to apply to study that program that you wish to study in Canada, and if it's related to your previous education. As this is really important and will determine if you will be given the admission. And the necessary advice, if neither work experience, what you studied previously and what you wish to study in Canada isn't related at all. If your proof of funds is sufficient to prove that you have the finances to take care of yourself in Canada, if you have build your bank statement for the past six months in order to apply for your visa if you have enough proof to show family ties in order to avoid visa refusal if you are able to prove that you will leave canada at the end of your studies i would advise you on the best course to study in canada with job prospect if one year or two year program is suitable for you if you can relocate with your family or not based on your current financial ability if study route is best for you or to apply for permanent residency answers to all your myths misconceptions about canada i can't divulge everything here this is just a tip of the iceberg of what i will eventually discuss with you before you make a decision to relocate to canada there are a lot of people who I've worked with and have said they wish someone discussed these prevailing issues with them before they applied for their visa and admission and now they are regretting the decisions they've made. Let this not be you. Kindly book a consultation session. Let's discuss your possible options and iron out every discrepancy before you apply for your admission and visa. Even if you are handling it yourself, you want to apply by yourself because there are a lot of people who believe they can do it by themselves. I'm not going to stop you, but it's good to discuss with someone before you start doing it yourself. Book a consultation session and let's brainstorm on the possible options for you before you apply for your admission and your visa. Thank you so much and do have a lovely day. Bye.